Mr. Meteorologist Mark Molnar is your host for the weather show, Weather Northeastern. We're going to get right into viewers sending photos and videos, but before we do, we're going to look at an extremely active tropics here across the Atlantic Basin. We got Hurricane Gert out here rounding the bend and heading towards the North Atlantic, really strengthening rapidly for a while there these past 24 to 36 hours before bending off to the Northeast very rapidly. But Gert should only be a problem to shipping lanes. Over here in the Eastern Atlantic, this is where we've got some problems going on. We got Invest 91 and Invest 92, and they're in the very similar scenario uh, vicinity here. And as you can see, 91 will bend towards the south, the southern end of the envelope here of tracks, heading towards the southern Lesser Antilles and eventually possibly affecting uh, the northern coastline here of South America. So a very southerly track for Invest 91. Invest 92 could pose more of a problem to the northern Windward and Leeward Islands over towards the Lesser Antilles and eventually towards Puerto Rico or just north of that for that matter. So we'll have to watch. All interest should be watching this over the next several days as these two invest systems have the potential to strengthen during the next five to ten days. It's really too early to get in particulars here with these systems other than their forecast tracks. Intensity will vary, but it's very possible that both these invest systems could obtain tropical storm status in the next three to five days. So you'll want to stay tuned to that. And of course, Hurricane Gert continues to spin out there in the Atlantic. Let's get right into viewers sending photos and videos. Joe Drehos from the Johnson City, New York area near the JC Traffic Circle, taking a look at the time lapse, quick time lapse of the thunderstorm that occurred here over this past weekend. Take a look. Very low cloud deck. Of course, most of it broke up before it reached him, but nevertheless, it was a very nice, interesting cloud show, to say the least, with all those low cumulonimbus clouds spinning off the underside of the storm as it was slowly sheared apart by drier air as well as more stable air in the valley. So there you have it. And Lucas D from Linden, Texas, continuing on with his video, his quick video that he had. Very nice, crystal clear, and he was also taking photos of nighttime using the ISO 6400. Looking at really interesting photos here. He's able to capture photos of stars, the galaxy, and pretty much everything outdoors as well when you're letting that much light into the lens. So very nice. Thank you, Lucas, and thank you, Joe Drehos. We're going to heading right on to the forecast, starting off with precipitation totals. Once again, you can admit the western portion of the United States from precipitation because it's going to continue here in the east as we continue to get troughiness ejecting systems across the eastern portion of the United States. And we'll watch for the possibility of tropical moisture as well, heading right on into the, the uh, track. This track really hasn't changed much. Trough in the east, ridge in the west, although we might have a little bit of a reprieve here, here in the northeast especially the weekend. We'll be looking at a possibly a nice weekend, starting off with your, uh, I wish it was Friday, your Wednesday, midpoint of the week. Take a look at this across the Northeast. Looking crystal clear, brilliant sunshine across the Northeast as that frontal boundary kind of sinks to the south here. I'm not kind of off the screen, but take note of it because it will be coming back north for your Thursday. As you can see, Thursday, it brings back north here. And right out ahead of it for your Thursday, there could be some strong to severe thunderstorms for portions like Erie, Warren, Bradford, over towards State College, over towards the northern areas of Pittsburgh, uh, into eastern Ohio, southwestern New York, Chautauqua, Catarongas, Allegheny counties, just south of Buffalo, maybe parts of Buffalo getting in on the act as well. Maybe as far east here as Elmira, New York, we might want to watch out for an isolated strong to severe thunderstorm towards the especially 2 p.m to 10 p.m. time frame here. So we'll watch for that. You know the saying, you never trust one of those warm fronts coming back to the north. And look at this Friday. This will be a really solidified warm front, pushing all that moisture. We'll have some steadier precipitation out here in the north country, but we'll have that possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms from the I-81 corridor on westward, New York State Thruway, Buffalo, Syracuse, maybe as far east as Albany, but the air will be a bit more stable over in this region. It's over here in the Susquehanna River Valley, Catskills, Poconos, over towards the Allegheny River Valley, the Allegheny Plateau here in western New York State. That's where we're going to have to watch out for strong to severe thunderstorms. And I want to make note of temperatures. There's kind of like a 
Baraclinic zone going on in here. We're cooling it off here to the north into the 60s and 70s. And look at this down towards Philadelphia. It's just south of Interstate 80. We're breaking out into the 90s here. And then Saturday, look at this. Most of it moves to the south and to the east. And we're starting to clear things out here across the northeast. What could look like a very beautiful, brilliant, crystal clear blue sky weekend with temperatures right around 80 to 82 in most locations. Take a look at my five day outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton and all points in between, Sarah, Tunconic, Waverly, and Owego. Look at this, looking beautiful for your Wednesday, no worries, near the 80 to 85 degree mark into your Thursday. Later in the day, especially between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m., that's where we could see an isolated strong thunderstorm here across portions of the Susquehanna River Valley, heading up towards the low to mid 80s. And look at this, for Friday, Friday is the worst day. Strong to severe thunderstorms likely. Possibility of some flash flooding also. And heading on to the weekend, look at this. Looking beautiful for both Saturday and Sunday. Barely a cloud in the sky. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube at MediaMark. Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at MediaMark. MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com.